Hello everybody, this is part 2 of the Rhino modeling demo of Mid Journey Concept Design. And in this part, I would like to walk you through the creation of this styling detail over here. Okay, let's start. Let's switch to wireframe display mode, turn on the curves. I'm going to use this curve as the basis for one edge of the new styling detail. I'm going to edit it using gumball as well as through control point adjustments. Select this control point and reposition it. Okay, let me make a copy of it and then use the duplicate to form another edge of the new styling detail. Let me do a bit of control point adjustments. Let's switch to ghosted mode. Okay, I'm going to use this curve as the basis for the bottom edge of the styling detail. I'm going to adjust it so that it more or less align with the bottom edge of the main form. Explode the main form. I'm going to trim this half of the top surface. I'm going to trim out this region and I'm going to split this area as well. But before that, let's trim the excessive corner of this curve and now let's execute the split okay this is the result let's select what we need and hide the rest Let's turn on the control points. As you can see, we got lots of control points. Let's shrink them down. Let's turn on the zebra so that we can analyze the surface continuity on the fly while we are making uh, tweaks. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the control points using the remove nodes. Got to constantly check the edge alignment while we are doing this. Okay, now I'm going to manipulate some of the control points to lift up this region so that we can create a more noticeable blend later. Now I need to adjust the individual control points so that each row is having a gradual consistent slope. I think this is too high. Leave this higher. Okay, 
bring this down this might take a while as I'm going through every row in the front region Maybe I need to adjust this as well. Okay, clicking the record history, I'm going to create a blended surface. Let me repeat this again. Okay. Click record history. Now do the blend surface. This will ensure that um okay, let me do an edge shape first. Okay, sorry. Okay, because we have uh, done the record history, if you were to make any uh, modification to the original surfaces, the blended surface will be updated accordingly. Let me demonstrate this. Okay, see, if I were to move this point, you can see that the blended surface are uh, still maintaining the continuity. I want to demonstrate the command called move UVN which you can use to do fine adjustments of control points okay okay now using the scale value of 0 0.001 which is I like a um, very tiny movement okay almost not noticeable Okay, changing the scale to something bigger, 0 0.01. Okay, you can see that now the movement is more noticeable. Let me mirror this. Let's bring back everything. Oops, I need to match this region. Okay, let me delete this part. Match surface set to preserve as a curve direction. Let's mirror this. Let's do a surface analysis using environmental map. The surface seems fine. You can see that the detail is blending smoothly into the main body without noticeable discontinuity. And with that, I come to the end of this demo. Hope that's been useful. See you. Bye.